Hello there. It's great to have you with us. Virtually, as is the norm these days. It's true, we've really missed seeing you all at the ex exhibitions and motorcycle shows this year, but until we can all be together again, using all the technology at our disposal to directly bring you the latest news of not just our bikes, but also our rider gear via the power of social media. As always, it's exciting times at BMW Motorrad, and not just because of all the great new bikes coming your way. We're here today specifically to show you some of the highlights of the 2021 gear and garment collection, what you could be wearing next year and beyond. We've got some really great new products to show you, and I'm delighted to be joined by a few experts who are directly involved in the design, development, and distribution of the 2021 collection. Please welcome Dr. Ralph Rodepater, Julia Lyon, and Marcus Vista. Thanks for joining everybody. Hello, Andy. Hi. Hello. Hi, hi. <laughs> so let's start with you, Ralph. BMW Motorrad is fast, fast approaching 100 years of motorcycle production. What people might not know is that the brand has also been making rider equipment for over 40 of those years, since 1978 in fact. So it's a very important part of the business. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it is not only what you're riding, it is also what you're wearing when you're riding. And we have a long experience, more than 40 years, as you, as you mentioned, um, in rider gear. And we know that a lot of our customers are trusting into our expertise in rider gear to be not only safe, but also good looking while riding and also when you're off the bike. Yeah, it's not about just producing the best performing technical riding gear, is it, Ralph? It's all also has to good look, you know, really look good and be comfortable off the bike, doesn't it? Absolutely. Um, of course, the, the picture of a bike and the rider and the rider in the rider gear is always one picture. Um, but also, when you're off the bike, uh, you don't want to look like out of place or something. So it is always even as important as the safety of the rider gear is the look of the of the rider gear. Absolutely, yeah. And as the brand becomes more lifestyle orientated, Ralph, I guess the clothing also reflects this journey? Yes, um, the development of the brand BMW Motora during the last couple of years is very much into this lifestyle oriented um, direction, as we call it. Um, and of course, um, also our clothes should look like or go in that direction uh, and getting a little bit more cooler touch in this without losing any of the uh, of the rational uh, ing ingredients of, of our uh, rider gear. Uh, our head of design, Edgar Heinrich, always said um, a motorcycle is the biggest accessory that you can wear. And that holds also true, including the rider gear that you are wearing. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks, Ralph. Right, we've got a lot to get through today, so please sit back and relax while we journey inside our first showroom and have a look at the adventure collection. Now, we all know a GS is the ideal tool for a far-flung adventure, but if you want to head off into the back of beyond, you better be prepared. So let's see what's on offer with our spirit of GS expert, Bernd. Our new adventure collection has something for every rider, including the upgraded version of our rally suit, the Rally Pro, and the Pace Dry Adventure, which is our entry-level Enduro suit. Let's have a closer look at some of the details GS riders are going to love. You'll see previous versions of the Rally suit all over the world, but the latest version of the Rally Pro has some important innovations. First of all, a new shoulder ventilation system that directs air to the rider's back and improves the extensive venting already available via the chest and arm areas, providing even more comfort out on the trail. New back and joint protectors are even more flexible than before. And there is also a new adjustment system to allow riders to get the best possible fit of the elbow and knee protectors. The Pace Dry Adventure Suit is also available in women's sizes. Another interesting feature is that the Rally Pro suit comes with a complete waterproof outsert, both jacket and trousers. We are sure the adventure rider will be interested in the new features of the new GS Carbon Evo helmet. It includes a multi-directional impact protection system known as MIPS that can reduce dangerous forces in certain impact situations. 
There's also a new rescue pull system which allows emergency services to remove the cheek pads from the outside in just one motion and remove the helmet easily. Thanks Bernd. Great start to proceedings. Right, back to you guys in the studio. Marcus, I can sense the adventure already. Some fantastic product there. No doubt designed by adventure riders for adventure riders. Now we celebrated 40 years of GS this year and this segment really has allowed BMW Motorrad to push the boundaries, not only in terms of the GS bikes we enjoy, but also the choice of rider gear that's essential when exploring back of beyond. Correct, Andy. Uh, wherever you go around the world, you may find a, a GS somewhere, even, as you say, in the back of beyond. And uh, most likely these riders are wearing our equipment and uh, because of the terrain they are going through, and because of the sometimes very harsh conditions they are riding, uh, we are not doing any compromise in the product when we develop it. Yeah, and your customers, and that includes me of course, Marcus, they certainly put a lot of faith in their rider gear as it gives them the confidence to challenge themselves and their abilities out on short technical rides and long trips and even events, you know, like the GS Trophy that we see across the world. Absolutely, absolutely, Andy. Confidence is very important uh, while riding and especially while adventure riding or going dirt roads, uh, dirt tracks. And um, this is, for instance, you, you, you know, you, you should not be worried about the things you are wearing. So it's, you, you need to be confident in, in what you're wearing. And this is the reason, for instance, why we, uh, we insist that the, the participants on the GS Trophy on our international event are wearing our uh, rally suit. And not only because of the terrain they are riding through, but also because of the, the challenges we are asked them to perform during this event. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks Marcus. Right, now time for us to switch from one adventure to another and a seriously an innovative mindset. So let's bring our plug to life expert, Christian, into the picture. Whether heading into the metropolis for work, rest or play, our urban mobility collection offers stylish, functional equipment for city slickers everywhere. Let's see some of these new innovations that look great on and off the bike. And imagine a jacket that can be transformed into a backpack in just two easy steps. Even though it's a super light summer jacket, the transformer jacket still comes with anti-flex protection on the elbow and shoulder areas and can also be retrofitted with a back protector. Well, the clue is in the name, of course, and we think our new transformer jacket will be the perfect companion for commuters who can stow away their helmet as soon as they have parked the bike. Sneakers on a powered two-wheeler? Yes, that's okay if your sneakers have protection level 1 certification like the new Midlight. With gear level and heel reinforcement, a concealed in a zip, and 3D knit technology, you've got innovation, coolness and protection on the soles of your feet. With this stylish range, you are perfectly equipped for every urban ride out. Thanks Christian. I'm liking the look of those new products by the way. And here in the studio to tell us a little bit more about them is Julia. I'm loving, loving these innovations, Julie. Your designers have got seriously creative with this collection, haven't they? I mean, their style and versatility, but without losing any of that famous BMW Motorrad functionality. Definitely. You still um, get all the functionality, all the features that you need uh, in that kind of uh, um, riding environment. But don't forget, this is not a typical motorcyclist. This is a commuter. So he uses his bike to go from A to B. He commutes from uh, home to work. He um, um, travels on into the city, goes shopping, meets up with friends. So actually what he needs or what he wants are products that are seamlessly integrated in his daily life. And, uh, and hey, if you get a jacket that you can actually transform into a backpack and stow away your helmet, how cool is that? 
Yeah, very cool. Nice touch that. And now we're even hearing about <laughs> connected rider gear that communicates directly with the rider and the bike to enhance safety and comfort levels. So exactly where is this journey taking us, Julia? Well, we cannot really predict the future, but we can definitely influence the future. And uh, being a motorcycle uh, builder, producer, and also developer of motorcycle gear, I mean, we have everything in our hands to actually connect the rider with uh, all of our products. And that's what we're doing with the connected riders gear. And actually, in the, in the clip that we've done to the CE04 show bike or concept bike, you also see our concept um, jacket that has already a lot of those innovation, uh, innovative features and connects already the rider with his bike and his, uh, his jacket. So take a look at that and then you will see where we're going and actually this is so close to serial production so it's not going to be so far that uh, you'll see that on, on the street. Yeah, looking forward to that one. Superb. Thanks Julia. Well, so that's urban riders in the spotlight but what about our touring riders? Let's go back to Berndt again, but this time he's in our tour collection showroom. From our Pace Guard tour suit to a wide range of gloves and boots, our tour collection has you and your pillion covered, whatever distance you're planning to ride. Let's see some of the products in more detail. Here, the new waterproof and breathable Pace Guard Tour Suit and the Pace Dry Tour Suit. Both are available for men and for women. It's designed for three season use with ample ventilation all around for hot days, including an air vent system on the front zip, plenty of waterproof pockets for rainy days and loads of adjustability to ensure the perfect fit. Here we have the Pace Dry Tour Suit, which is waterproof and breathable thanks to its BMW climate membrane. Due to its set liner construction, it's very soft and comfortable to wear during a ride out. Finally, I want to show you the Cruise Comfort GTX Plus boots. They are designed with a higher stand to provide more safety and confidence. In addition, they are waterproof and breathable due to the new Gore-Tex membrane. All in all, it's the perfect companion for touring. Yeah, looking good. Thanks, Bernd. And over to you again, Marcus, in the studio. As we motorcyclists say, especially the British ones, there's no such thing as bad weather, only the wrong clothing. But judging from what I saw there just now, it certainly looks like BMW Motrad has it covered when it comes to touring riders' needs. Yes, absolutely, Andy. BMW was, you know, the, the, the first manufacturer um, who developed a, a waterproof but also breathable and still protected motorcycling suit. And that was, that was back in the 80s. <clears throat> and since then, uh, we, always, we never looked back. We always looked forward into developing new materials and new techniques and finding new fabrics and new membranes to always be updated uh, in our developments to provide you the best possible product for any riding condition ever. Yeah, and it's great to see that the range is something for all sizes, budgets, and climates, of course, which you need when exploring parts of the world where there are four seasons in one day. Yeah, by definition, a touring rider is, uh, is spending long hours on the bike and, and consequently uh, long hours in their, in their suit. So the capability of the, of the riding equipment should be matching with the capability of the bike. And this is why we have a full range of goods, a full range of products to provide you the best possible um, uh, product for every riding scenario that you can enjoy. And as you say, like you might go uh, during a tour and you meet four seasons in one day and we have the best possible equipment for it. So you still have an enjoyable ride. Super, good to know. Cheers, Marcus. Moving Cheers, on Andy. swiftly then. Judging by the huge success of the Bavarian Soul Story series, you've all enjoyed learning about BMW Motorrad's illustrious heritage. Well, that heritage also extends to clothing. So let's talk soul fuel now and bring in Christian again to show us a few special highlights.
riders of great looking bikes need great looking riders gear. So our heritage collection has been designed with passion and attention to detail. Let's have a closer look and I show you exactly what I mean. In this segment it's all about beautifully finished products that look really great, no matter you are riding or not. Take this mechanist jacket for example. It won't look out of place anywhere, but it's designed to function perfectly as motorcycle clothing with its abrasion-resistant cotton construction and anti-flex protectors on the shoulder and elbow areas. Exactly the same can be said for our Pure Rider trousers and Pure Shifter boots. And if you want to complete the look, then there's a big range of heritage products out there waiting for you to choose from, including gloves, casual wear and helmets. So get out there and define your own style. Thanks Christian, looking good as always. Right, let's cross over to Julia again. Julia, this segment, it's all about high quality design and dedicated craftsmanship, isn't it? Definitely, it's about craftsmanship, it's about uh, beautiful materials, the nice leathers, nice denims, and it's all about really being passionate about details. Even every stitch, every embroidery, every rivet um, is designed to be placed on this product. And um, yeah, it, those products are, are made to last. And, uh, and actually the response to our first collection that we launched in 2020 was so good that I'm really looking forward to the new products for 2021. Yeah, me too. It always helps, of course, but you don't actually need a bike to look good in a lot of this gear, do you? <laughs> Not really, but actually you do look better on the bike as well. And, <laughs> and you know, all of, uh, all of us here, we're passionate riders, so we do design products to fit perfectly on the bike. <laughs> yeah, it looks good with or without a bike. Okay, thanks, Julia. You're so welcome. there you have it. Proof indeed that there's no need to compromise on clothing when you've got the best motorcycles in the business. Okay, I think we've still got a little bit of time left to have a look at some of the questions and comments that have come in from our community. So perhaps we can see if we can post the first one up on the screen, maybe. This is the bit when you know it's live. Okay, here we go. What's the favorite riding gear of all you guys and why? And that's from Alex. Uh, I'll let you go first on that one, Ralph. It's a difficult one. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, it's a difficult one. Um, Actually, I'm, I'm riding all year long and I'm riding, I'm in the lucky position to ride a lot of, lot of different bikes and I'm, all my colleagues know that I never want to look out of place so I need the right gear to, for the right bike. So um, I'm, I would say, yeah, for every condition that is a different one that is my favorite one. Uh, out of the new collection, um, I like very much this new GS Pure Helmet um, because it is not only a very comfortable and, and practical uh, GS helmet, but you can also transform that into a very cool Street Fighter helmet, I would say. Uh, and that is something um, you middle-aged like men like me <laughs> like very much, uh, looking like a Street Fighter. So you just have to remove the shield, um, put a dark visor on um, or a mirrored visor, and you have a real cool helmet that fits also on uh, aggressive uh, street bikes without losing any of the tactical or practical uh, ability of that helmet. Um, another one is the one I'm wearing, this city jacket. It looks like a hoodie. Uh, it feels very light, but it is protected. Um, so you can use that for the evening ride in the summer to the coffee bar um, with your bike and you don't look out of place when you are sitting around. It's just appearing like a normal hoodie. Nice. How about you, Julia? I actually also have like two favorite uh, products uh, right now um, as I really like to ride uh, like enduro traveling is, is um, what I really do a lot and uh, the paste dry suit is so comfortable it's just uh, you, you don't want to uh, take it off actually so when I go traveling I wear that and then on the scrambler I really like our denim suit the road crafted so it actually really looks good, very good off the bike as well. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff, thanks. What very about you, Mark? Well, if it comes to touring on the GS, <clears throat> of course, I love the, the, the rough, the tough um, pace 
paste guard stuff like a three layer laminate for any kind of weather condition. I like this kind of sturdy, tough, rough uh, appearance of the fabric. But when it comes to riding on my old BMW, I love all the, the leather type of things and there I have a, a, a nice little collection of old leather jackets and which I really love on, on short trips around my home during the weekend. <laughs> Sounds to me like you guys are completely spoiled for choice. But thanks for <laughs> yeah. your let's, let's move on to the next question. That was a brilliant question. Thanks for that, Alex. Okay, how do you test your rider gear for durability? Does BMW have any in-house rigs or special volunteer crash test dummies? That's the job I wouldn't want. <laughs> that's I'm not sure one. who's going to answer that. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. I like that one. Um, of course, we, as Julia said, we are all riding. We are all we are all riders, and uh, but we don't want to be crashed as dummies. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, no, the reality. I like the question. The, the reality is uh, we have in-house facilities where we can uh, test, for instance, abrasion. So the abrasion resistance we are testing in-house. Then there is a, a wonderful thing because we are connected to uh, the, the car side of BMW and they have their own labs uh, for testing materials as well. And then we also go to, to independent, like official testing labs where we do our official testing to get certification. And these people, of course, they test as well, like if you have a new material, a new laminate coming up and you want to know about the, the tearing, tearing resistance, you send it to such a laboratory or this one, for instance, we, we can do in-house as well. So, and the, the, the crashing thing is more like a lab, a lab test where you can test all this kind of stuff. Fantastic. That's very interesting. That sounds like it could be a whole podcast episode all on its own. So thanks for that, yeah. Marcus. Okay. Could we have the next question on the screen, please? All right, what would you best recommend for riding in the hot summer? Well, someone who's lucky enough to have a hot summer. <laughs> <laughs> where, is, where is this question coming from? <laughs> Somewhere in the uh, actually, southern hemisphere. <laughs> yeah. southern hemisphere but we do it? have that. I mean, we're bringing out now the, the summer excursion jacket. And what I really like about it is also that it comes in really cool colors, in red for the ladies, in blue for the, the gents. And, uh, and this is a fully mesh jacket, super <coughs> light, um, really perfect perfect for any um, hot summer day in the city or a little uh, short trip um, to somewhere in, yeah, when it's hot. To the beach, <laughs> to, to the, the beach. beer garden. <laughs> and beer garden, yeah. <laughs> yeah, any, anyone watching now in Northern Europe, summer seems a long time away and a long time oh, till it be back again. <laughs> also, let's just forget about summer for the moment and get the next question on the screen. Okay, can we admit mix and match separate items, like a jacket from one collection and trousers from another? That's from Anthony, that's a good question. I don't know the answer to it, but one of you does, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, most, most of, um, um, of the pieces can be combined. Uh, we, you know probably that we have this zipper on the back, uh, these 40 centimeter zippers, which is in nearly every all of our jackets and also on all our trousers so that you can fix um, the trouser with the, with the jacket. Uh, regardless from which collection they always fit together and the rest is your taste uh, if you think you are good looking in it you can of course match it and most of the it is a collection and so there is a lot of design effort in that the pieces are fitting together yeah brilliant good to know okay super thanks Ralph next question please <laughs> it's getting cold here in Europe. Yes, I know. Um, so what's the warmest riding suit you make? And that I don't know. Who's going to answer that one then? Well, it's, it's, it's again my pace, my <laughs> pace, pace guard. guard. <laughs> it's again my pace guard favorite. And as well the, the pace dry as well. So it's, it's two, um, three, four seasons uh, uh, suits, like the Pace Guard is a very, as, as I described before, it's a very rough, a very tough three layer laminate. And of course you have this, you have to gear this up with under layers, but this is for, for cold, icy wind, I think a very good solution. And then the Pace Dry as well is a more flexible, it's a more comfortable suit. Uh, because the layers of fabric are not fixed together, so it's, a, it's called a set liner construction, so it's a very comfy, 
very soft thing. And if you would combine it, it's a, it's a waterproof one, paste dry. It's a waterproof one. But if you would combine this then with an, out, an outer shell as well, you put over like a rain jacket on top and you put underneath some layers of base layer, mid layer fabrics, then you are happy uh, riding your bike as well in quite winterish conditions. I just get a BMW heat up vest as well. I think that's probably one of the best things I've ever. <laughs> that works as well. <laughs> you can go anywhere if you've got one of those plugged in. So, uh, yeah, great. It's good to know. Anyway, uh, have we got another question, please? <laughs> what will we be wearing in the future when we are all riding e-bikes? Who's got a crystal ball in the room? <laughs> <laughs> uh, perhaps someday. In the far future, we do not even need helmets because the bikes are so safe that you don't fall off or, or something. But that is a far future. Um, I think, uh, as Julia said before, we gave a little bit a hint of how it could look like when we were presenting a couple of days ago the definition CEO4 uh, with, with our version of the future rider gear, which is not such a long future. So that will be on the street within... Couple short of toys. Short time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it goes into the direction of connecting the rider gear not only with the uh, with the bike but also with your telephone, with your helmet, uh, that you can use your rider gear also to steer something out of your um, in your on your mobile uh, that you get information into your helmet communication system and such things. So it becomes more and more one uh, thing. The, bike itself with all the TFT and all the capabilities in there but connect that also to the rider gear giving additional safety by lightning on the on the back or something but gives you also the chance to take telephone calls um, or play your favorite music list yeah it's fascinating I mean it <laughs> You know, it, it reminds me of the time when my son said to me, what was your favorite website when you were a kid, Dad? And when I said there wasn't anything when I was a kid, all these things are just going to be completely accepted and normal within just a few years. So uh, it's not too far away. Listen, guys, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for today. So uh, thanks ever so much for your fantastic answers. Thanks, everyone, for your questions. And thanks so much to all of you out there for watching. And we really hope you enjoyed our deep dive into the Riders Gear Collection for 2021. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>